Hello, welcome to Good Foods. Today we're making, from scratch, pork and beans. So let's get started. In my pot, I have one pound of Great Northern beans. Now you can, it, traditionally it's navy beans, but I haven't seen navy beans in any store I've been to for a long time. But they're very, very similar beans. You want a white bean. These small white beans. I have soaked them overnight, drained them, and then rinsed them, and they're ready to go. So into my pot I'm going to add one quart of stock this is a store-bought bone broth of course homemade is better but I'm out and to that I'm also going to add between a half a quart and a quart of water but I'm going to start out half a quart of water and see if I need to add more later now to that, we have one large onion. To that, well, I saw that we had a shadow, so I fixed that. Okay, to that, we have, we will be adding one large onion, and this is bacon that we have uh, rendered ourselves, and we're going to add about a half a pound of bacon and that's the seasoning that's traditionally used in pork and beans. You may remember as a child seeing them. I haven't bought can in a long time but I remember seeing um, them with the little bits of bacon. Well this is going to have more than a little bit. I'm going to make these very flavorful. So to that Okay, to that I'm going to add two tablespoons of um, a spicy brown mustard. Now you can use regular mustard. You can, you can actually use dry mustard, but I wouldn't put ta two tablespoons. I'd put um, one or two teaspoons. I'd go with one. Now I'm going to add to that some uh, half a cup of tomato sauce. You don't want it to be like a pasta, so you know just that's a half a cup is enough. If you have, if you want to do a bigger batch, just double the recipe. Okay, I'm also going to add. Whoa, I'm going to spill. I've got it overflowing. Uh, a half a cup of uh, maple syrup plus two tablespoons of molasses. If you don't have molasses, you can omit it. Two tablespoons. I want the rest of my syrup though, and I've spilled it. We're having to do sugar free, <laughs> but you use the real thing. It's still good. So I'm going to put in, this is a sweetener. Half a cup. Any sweetener if you can't do sugar. Or don't wish to do sugar. Now um, to this I'm going to add a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. A teaspoon of salt. And you want to taste it later. After you have the um, put in your... Um, hot dogs to see if it needs more salt you know because everybody's different so it's a teaspoon of ground ginger it's a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of coarse ground black pepper you can use any kind of pepper you want so to that the last ingredient let me turn it on I'm going to turn it on at the moment um, high because I want to get it to start boiling so to this, I'm going to add, I'm just going to put it in here, two teaspoons, that's about a half of a shot, a little more, of cider vinegar, that's his apple cider. If you don't have a cider vinegar, just use regular, regular vinegar. 
And that's all of the ingredients. I am going to add a half a quart of water. And this is how I do it. I just guesstimate half of this quart. I fill it up with water. And I'm going to look at that. That looks like it's enough. Yeah, and that's about a half as well. Because I'm going to boil it, then I'm going to let it simmer, a slow simmer, where it's kind of boiling. I will show you. And then we're going to stir everything, get everything incorporated. I will, if you've never had homemade beanie weenies, oh my, you don't know what you're missing. All right, now this is what I call a rolling simmer. It's just a light little little bubbling and I've got it on mine three it'll keep it there and what I'm doing it gonna do is I'm going to semi cover it you see that so liquid can escape but not too much liquid I don't want them to dry out you know and now I'm gonna check it every 20 minutes it should take between 45 minutes to an hour for your beans to get tender maybe even less. They don't take very long when you soak them overnight. And it gets also when you soak it overnight. It's the only way to um, get rid of your enzymes inhibitors, which is why beans don't grow until the spring. But the thing is, that means that your body is not going to absorb enzymes, which is bad, bad. So always soak your beans overnight, no matter what kind of bean it is. All right, we'll be back. Okay, next step. We're going to brown some bacon. We're going to cut up the bacon and brown it. And then we're going to take, pull the bacon out and use the reserve fat to brown the hot dogs. We're going to keep the bacon that we reserve for topping the bowls. Give a little crunch texture to it. This is my homemade bacon. Cured it myself. So we're going to cut that up in little pieces. This is about four ounces of bacon. You still got the beans cooking. Try and reduce the liquid a little bit.
got this on medium low. I want to cook it kind of low and slow. I want to brown it, get it crispy. I want to render all the fat I can to it without burning it. I wish you could smell that. Wow. We're going to cut up the hot dogs, and we're going to brown them in the rendered fat. <laughs> so let me show you how I'm cutting up the hot dogs. In typical beanie weenie style. And little slices. That's what I'm looking for. If you get it the knife, you can have several in a row. Maybe if you're not good at the knife, you're careful. Maybe down the tidbit, I'd recommend finishing these one at a time. That's a finger saver there, trying to not to do these all at once all the way down to the end. But you've got the idea. Low and slow on the bacon is just a matter of patience. Uh, can you put a time limit on it if you're trying to rush? But I'm not. This is homemade bacon, so they're not all cut the same thickness. These are from the ends and pieces off the the slab when I was slicing it, so they're not all uniform, so it's just taking a little more time. 
if you have this, you need to take more. Now, if you got regular bacon and it's all uniform thickness, you can cook it a little faster. But you gotta watch it. You don't want to burn the bacon. Starting to get a little color on the bacon. You can move these around with a spoon, or if you want to get creative, you can do a little saute motion like so. You gotta do it gently because you got grease in there. You don't want to burn yourself. But they're starting to get brown. We're not far from starting to uh, remove the smaller pieces and continue cooking the other ones. Okay, I'm going to start finding my smaller brown pieces and I'm going to pull them out, put them on a paper towel. Like I said I got some a little thicker. So these are the ends and pieces. You got the, the daylight so you can see what's going on. That's this. There ain't nothing like bacon bits from homemade bacon. Just my opinion. Can't buy those at the store. But if you got a butcher that's curing their own bacon, that would probably be very com comparable. Pomeranian loves bacon. The smell is driving him nuts. You can hear him whining in the background if you listen. Yes, how do I know he loves bacon? He's had his share. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, you can tell we're not doing this in a, a film studio. This is home. That's why the lighting's not the best. Almost all done. Getting real close. Yes, Teddy, it's bacon. His name is Teddy, Teddy Bear. Okay, close enough. Now for the hot dogs. And the hot dogs are going to just do a little saute action with them. I don't 
the way. Turn our heat up a little bit, close it to medium. After these go, a minute or two, I can do the saute after give them a jumble. Shut them down, put them off level again. Or close to it. And we'll cook some more. Our goal here is to get a little caramelization on the hot dog, but to get a hot dog extra cold. flavor in that. We'll be back. Homemade beanie weenies. It's got bacon in it, and we're going to garnish with a little bit of bacon. Give it a little crunch. Now let's do a taste test. Wait a minute. Hot. Hmm. That ain't your mama's beanie weenie. Very good. You need to try that yourself. Please like, subscribe. Share. These are all things that help our video and our channel. Thank you.